Nicola, you've had quite a bit of headwinds post-pandemic. And of course, Mark Zuckerberg, at the end of last year, announced the loss of 11,000 jobs they had to cut from the company. How has it been since then? Yeah, look, that's not an easy thing for any company to have to go through. And especially, you know, a company that's gone through hyper growth as we have um, over the last 15 or, you know, or so years. So that's a difficult thing on a personal basis. But I think when I, when I look at the company and for all the reasons that I'm sharing with you, I think we're really underestimated because, you know, we see that growth that, that we talked about for, at the last earnings with people. We see that, you know, the extraordinary innovation. And more than that, you know, when I'm talking to advertisers and when I'm talking to business owners this week, focus is very much on making sure they get the best return on investment. And, you know, talking to us and the performance that we can give, that's something that they want help on. So I think we're the very best place to do that and going to continue to make sure that we put that out there. With all the global shocks going on, are you worried about advertising revenue? So, I, you know, we talked at the very beginning, the mood coming into here. As I'm leaving here, the words that I would use are cautious optimism. And what the wonderful thing about being at WEF is you meet people from all over the world, and I travel a lot as well. You know, when you're in Asia, you know, there's great optimism in there. You know, the economies are strong, they're buoyant. I think the US is, you know, somewhere between there and Europe. There's, you know, talk now, that a softening on whether it's going to be a very hard recession, but much more likely not. And I think Europe still does have a lot of challenges, but with the, with the unexpected uh, reduction in the energy prices that people hadn't factored just a couple of months ago, I think that shows signs of positivity as well. So I think cautious optimism is the way um, that I'm coming out of here. Well, Met has also faced some other challenges in the advertising model, including the impact of the changes to Apple's privacy policy, which I wanted your take on, but also, of course, the recent regulation, the Irish Data Protection Commission, and I know that you're appealing the fines. What's happening with that? Yeah. So let's take two things first. So um, on, on the Apple move that they made some 18 months ago, we were very clear about the impact that it would have not just on us, but on so many different businesses, and especially small business. And that came to be true. That said, we didn't sit around just twiddling our thumbs. We, you know, we, we've been very much looking at our own tech and our own stack, and looking, as you say, with the regulation also that's been coming along, what we can do, how we can do more with less, with less data. One of the very big investments that we've been making on our CapEx, and I, you know, there's, I think there's a bit of a misunderstanding here as well, which is where we're spending our money. I think there's some that think we're spending all our money on the metaverse. Not true. Actually, 80% of the investments that we're making are on the core apps and services. That's Facebook, that's Instagram. That's the thing that are powering the, you know, the advertising machine. And one of the big areas has actually been on artificial intelligence, AI which has been another big uh, topic of, of this week. I'm sure you've had lots of conversations on that. And what we're seeing, some of our very new products that we launched just in September last year, something we call Advantage Shopping. Um, plus, we're really seeing very strong return on investment. And we saw a number of advertisers public come out and talk about the fact that, you know, in the run-up to Cyber 5, such a key period for, for any business, such was the success that they were seeing that they actually shifted more of the budgets to us. So this was really encouraging um, to see. In light of regulation and where we are, look, we have always called very clearly for more regulation. We think this is a good thing for the industry to be able to have a very clear level in terms of where we, you know, we should move to, not just us, but our other technology companies as well. And yes, with that fine, we believe you know, that we were compliant. We think there is still some, um, some clarity on that, which is why we, we've appealed it. When will you hear news, do you think? Oh, I've absolutely no idea, because that's very recent. <laughs> so, you know, this is very recent news, so um, we'll wait to see.